Hi guys, Asmo here and welcome to the second act of our leveling guide. We're making a miner, but for now we're still leveling in the very generic Orb of Storms, Stormblast Mine, uh, and what is it? Frost Bomb, yes, Frost Bomb setup. And as you can see, uh, right now we are in the beginning of Act 2 and we're basically just gonna continue. This time I'm gonna edit some parts out so that the video doesn't take too long. First you want to go to the right and uh, to the fields, the old fields and uh, find the den. Once you find the den you just leave a portal by the entrance and continue to the crossroads so that you can pick up the waypoint. Overall it's a little bit more efficient, efficient and takes less time. And also if you don't find the den at the first run through and you already get to the end of the zone you just continue and then you enter the zone and go the other way. Let's say you didn't find it on top then you go to the bottom of the zone. And that way you actually save time because after killing the uh, beast you want to log out anyway right so this way uh, you're gonna do it faster because it doesn't matter where it will put you out of the zone you always take pretty much the same amount of time to do it so you just kill the white beast and i did drop a quicksilver in the act one but we're gonna pretend i didn't and i'm just gonna replace the one i dropped for the one from this quest and we're just gonna run with two quicksilvers the good thing about the quicksilver you're getting from this quest is that it can roll adrenaline but I would recommend against using augmentations at this point to augment your stuff. Don't augment your wand, your crafted wands. Uh, don't augment uh, the flask because you're gonna need three augments for the movement speed boot enchant if you didn't find it yet. If you found like 10 or even 15% movement speed boots, then feel free to use the augments. But if you don't have movement speed, then um, you're gonna need them for the uh, movement speed uh, craft on your boots uh, now we go to the chamber of sins that's the next thing on in order so that we can get our herald and, and um, our skater bots you want to go toward the middle and then looking from the middle toward the waypoint the waypoint will point you toward where you're supposed to go right so the waypoint is pointing to the bottom left and that's where the entrance to sins 2 will be and that's always how you want to do it right so that you can quickly uh, get there and since uh, two you need to remember to pick up your trial right and then you basically continue uh, and kill fidelitas uh, at this point uh, you shouldn't worry too much about resistances but lightning is nice in this zone lightning is nice fidelitas is uh, has a bunch of lightning and then val also does lightning damage so if you can have a uh, uh, topaz rings they're very helpful now and also you're gonna use them for crafting you can use topaz rings or you can also use like the uh, cold damage rings as well that you should have left from the previous act if you don't find any new rings uh, it is not that big of a difference uh, the topaz gives you slightly more damage the lightning craft is slightly better than the cold one the cold one freezes though so it's it's kind of a personal preference but if you want to be as quick as possible than the lightning one has a higher damage potential so we pick up herald of thunder we sell uh, all the stuff we don't need we have a very healthy amount of scrolls of um, wisdom which is why i'm identifying my items so that i can get alteration shards because in this act to buy gems you need alterations and then we pick up our scare bots as you can see i needed alteration uh, orb in order to get those scare bots uh, now i still look for the boots so i'm gonna still control f and then and try to find movement speed boots unfortunately no movement speed boots for me so far I'm just i check like 10 times already the vendors and still no movement speed boots but sometimes you're never gonna just find them and then you're gonna have to craft them make sure to talk to einhar whenever you see them in a zone um and then like if you don't finish his quest he's gonna keep appearing like in, in so many zones you can do a beast like i right here i decided to do this red beast because i wanted to loot I needed uh, to get uh, more items so that I can craft my ones at level 20 and uh, that beast happened to drop a lot of stuff so I'm on a, on my way to get the craft that I need uh, which is the alteration, magic wand and the rare uh, ring, preferably rare topaz ring. Uh, this ring also happened to roll like life and extra uh, lightning rest so i have a very good lightning rest right now like in the 60s um, on the passive tree we continue with the uh going toward the life and then toward the mine cluster 
the mine cluster is uh, huge it helps us uh, uh, keep our mines from being destroyed when, you, when we throw them now in this zone in the western forest you want to go down and find the waypoint and then go the when if the waypoint is on the right side of the road you want to go to the left to the weaver waypoint will always point toward alira and on the opposite side there will be weaver so we go to the weaver first so that we can pick up our gems and be done with that because we are actually going to help alira with uh, this character we benefit from everything because we are going to be going crit we do have mana issues and we do want those resists because we're going to be able to uh, just go more greedy on other items uh, with those resistances so alira is definitely the way to go for this character which is the lightning miner you want to go here to this little pillar and then throw mines right where i'm pointing the cursor this way you will be able to detonate them on weaver right when he jumps down uh, or she jumps down whatever uh, but i forgot to turn on my auras i forgot to turn on scatterbots and uh, herald of thunder which is why this fight is uh, so slow i would have killed weaver a little bit faster uh, and i would have had a little easier time with the ads uh, if I had those turned on, but not a big deal. We're just gonna put them on uh, Soon after because I happened to get them when I was still not level 16 That means I still couldn't equip them because they're level 16 required and I and now I realize oh no I, I didn't equip those things. That's why I didn't do more damage. You want to get trap and mine damage support uh, It's level 18 required and we're gonna replace uh, Lesser poison on our storm blast trap and you go back to the crossroads and um, you can actually do your trial at this point. I forgot this trial. I killed the bandits first and then the trial, but it doesn't matter. It's not a big difference. But at this point, it's good to do your trial, which is uh, down in the catacombs. But now we just go to the broken bridge. Uh, we just follow the road. That's all you have to do. You just follow the road and you are going to find, uh, what is it called? Kraton, I guess. And then when you talk to the bandits, you want to go past the first screen and then when there's the screen with the decision help or kill you can start stacking mines put down um put down uh what's it called the frost bomb right and then just detonate them when you say kill them and that way you can kill them much much faster then you just want to go to oak do the same thing with oak just pre-stack your mines put down uh frost bomb i keep forgetting the name of frost bomb because i keep confusing it with winter orb uh, you just do this and then you find the waypoint so you want to find the waypoint so that you can uh, go back without having to like uh, find this again because this waypoint is right by the entrance to the next zone so you do this you go back to western forest and now we just uh, go on the right side oh wait i actually pick up the trial first that's right because normally that's what i would do but i forgot the trial so now i'm going to go pick up the trial so in the crossroads we just go down we're able to exchange uh, our support gems now so you can switch poison for the trap and mine damage and try to do as many things as you can while running that way you're gonna save a little bit of time because your character is still walking and like you know one second here one second there three seconds here three seconds there and and uh, before you know it's like 15 minutes shaved off of your run you know so it really helps um, just do the trials very simple trial there is not nothing to really explain about them just flame dash through the uh, spinny things run through the other things use your potions at this point I am pretty sure everybody knows how to do these and after that we can just log out and then finally we go to Alira and also do the way forward quest so we go to western forest and now the waypoint is pointing toward alira which means the right side even if you are in the fresh zone always go like to the side that the waypoint is uh, pointing chaos. toward we find a chaos orb uh, chaos orb early on like if you found like a great item that was a rare item with uh, with like really shitty rolls but amazing links like early four link that's rare but has like horrible stats i guess you could use that early on other other than that just save it um, just trying to kill stuff on the way while running down getting onslaught every now and then which is why we're still using the frost bomb just pick up this 
and then we can log out and don't forget to pick up uh, the skill point right which is in the act one so you want to go to act one pick up the skill point this is also the time where you can sometimes check for ones so you can check if uh, nessa has ones with good links uh, because you will need that for craft so you might find a better base than the ones you are currently uh, using right because the base matters the role the implicit role doesn't matter it's gonna get re-rolled anyway but uh, which base it is matters right so you want to pick up as good of a base as you can with the right lengths and also have it magic yeah a transmutation drop and then even better than that, an alchemy drop. So this alchemy, I pretty much don't hesitate instantly. I use it on my boots and I happen to hit lightning res and movement speed. So 10% movement speed, finally I'm done. I used it on boots so quickly because those are the right lengths that I will always want. And uh, basically I'm just gonna do it and hope for the movement speed. If not, then I don't really have that much to alk. Like I could use the alk for making, um, rare ring but we get another alchemy and i also was hoping to find some essences which actually in this run i couldn't find many essences normally it's a little bit more so essences or or, or all orbs of alchemy uh, are very useful to turn rings into rare rings and then that allows you to do a level 20 uh, wand recipe you just continue through the northern forest killing stuff you should be like level 18 or 19 here i'm level 20 i'm a bit over leveled because i'm killing stuff in order to do it very easily and comfortably like this is super super easy and comfortable pace that allows me to get all the crafts i want and uh, have no trouble with anything like there is never a point where we're like close to dying or struggling with for damage or anything and later on that will allow us to just zoom through the zones and skip a few uh you know unnecessary packs and in order to just speed up and kill only the juicy packs and run through the rest of it with uh, our violent speed and momentum so here important recipe that's the movement speed on boots if you don't have movement speed boots by this time you can craft them it costs three augments if i remember correctly uh, and then you just continue through the caverns you go into the pyramid and then sometime before val i recommend crafting the wand because that will help you kill val so much quicker like it, it's a huge huge difference like if you have the level 20 craft he will you know he will pop the ads maybe he will go down one time and then he comes back up and you one shot him right but if you don't have the craft maybe he will go down a two or three times and you're gonna struggle and just gonna take so much more time it's way better to have it. As you can see, I'm killing all the packs and killing so many monsters. We get finally a good flask. Killing so much stuff just, just because I need the uh, alteration, right? I'm like hoping for another alteration or or another um, alchemy orb. But I'm just going to have one level 20 craft and then I'm going to do the second one uh, in Act 3, probably on a better base. So this is the time I have everything I need but i still want to check for a good base so i'm checking the vendor i'm selling everything this gives me another alteration but what i'm missing is the rare uh, ring right because i have only one alchemy and that's it and i cannot buy the other uh rare wand sorry magic wand so i needed to buy this and i happened to get lucky with the chromatic to get exactly the colors i i want to replace my non-crafted wand so that's like a huge damage increase. Um, I, did, I figured I can just alchemy one of the rings and now you get the craft. And that's 1 to 47 lightning damage. So that's huge amount of flat damage to all of our spells. So now you just continue to the pyramid and you destroy Val. That's it. That's basically act 2. Make sure to pick up the recipe. Uh, and then in Act 3, we're going to be most likely switching to mines, but we have them leveling in our um, offhand, so that should be very, very easy. Just making sure. This is a good time to take stock of your gear, resistances, switch up the items, craft, uh, start a family, uh, finish college, you know, 
<laughs> make a dinner before the vault comes up uh, and then just make sure to uh, put the orb of um, storms in a way that you can target as many ads as possible pre-stack the vault just one more round of mines and he's done and that's it we, we happen to find a four link but probably shitty colors but that's it the moment you hear the sound of val uh dying going down you just log out because it takes so long for the uh, doorway to open so that's it for act two hopefully you learned something from this thank you guys for watching and see you next time